there, I'm Nerdy Pickle, and today we are getting ready to take in some new fosters, a mama dog and her six puppies. I'm going to show you how I prepare the puppy house. First thing we're going to do is lay down some reusable puppy pads. I use these large ones to cover the area where the bedding will be. You can see I already have a couple of playpens set up along the wall, so I'm making sure the pad goes under the playpen along the edges. Now this area I'm setting up is inside a shed where we added insulation, drywall, flooring, a window AC unit, a heater, and doggy door too, which leads to a private yard separate from my own animals. It's perfect for puppies or mama dogs with puppies. I'm also laying down a couple smaller reusable puppy pads. I would normally cover the remaining area with another large pad, but the puppies I'm taking in are only a few days old, so I don't need to worry about full coverage right now. They won't be moving around much for about a week or two. Next we're going to bring in the sides of the playpen to make one big rectangle. There is a door on the left side that will be left open so the mama dog can get in and out, but the puppies will stay in. As they get bigger, I'll need a taller playpen, but for now, this will work just fine. We will use these clips to keep the edges of the playpen locked together. One on the top, and one on the bottom. Then we're adding a nice big comforter to keep everyone nice and cozy, spreading it out to the edges. On top of that, two more soft blankets. Now this area is ready to go. It is winter time here in Southern California and it does get chilly. At the time I was setting this up, it was actually pretty warm in the puppy house at 66 degrees, but we're still going to turn on the heater and let this warm up to 70 degrees. And we will close the door so it warms up faster. When fostering for rescues or shelters, they will typically provide you with all the supplies you need. I've been doing this for a few years now and I've built up a collection of my own supplies. Some were my own extra things and some donated from friends, so I'm super grateful. My friends also bring me newspapers that I use instead of puppy pads to try to be a little more eco-friendly. I have bowls, leashes, a new pair of gloves for cleaning, and lots of blankets. So many blankets and still need more. I mentioned earlier that there's a doggy door in the puppy house and that leads out to this private yard. I call it the foster yard. The walls and fence are nice and tall and it's lined with turf so no one is getting in or out. There's also a little dog igloo that was donated to me and puppies love it. I didn't film the drop off, but she's here. This is Barb and her six puppies. They are about five days old here. Barb's had a rough couple of days, so we're going very slow with her. She's very protective of her babies, which is totally normal, but she was unfortunately separated from her pups for a day or two, and she's probably pretty traumatized from that. The puppies were pulled from the shelter first, and Barb was pulled later. This was because the rescue was told Barb wasn't taking proper care of the pups. After pulling the pups, the rescue decided to go back for Barb and attempt to reunite this little family. They were reunited at another foster who had the puppies and was bottle feeding them. Luckily, when Barb was reintroduced, everything went perfectly, and she was so happy to be with her pups again. Now they can relax and decompress here in a calm and quiet environment. Barb is such a good mama and takes excellent care of her babies. We're mostly leaving her to do her thing, just checking in and putting out food so she knows she can trust us and her babies will not be taken away from her again. We were told she unfortunately gave birth to two stillborn pups, but the six she has are doing very well so far. No doubt she's exhausted from everything she's been through. She was comfortable enough to relax a bit and fall asleep with me still nearby. Shortly after this, I set out some food for her and left her alone. I brought out food twice more this night before bedtime and checked in on her through a camera I have set up in the puppy house. She spent a little time cleaning up, shook the stress away, got some face rubs in, got some water, peeked out the doggy door, and rearranged a bit before settling in. If you have any questions about fostering, let me know in the comments below. I foster cats, dogs, kittens, and puppies. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like to follow along with Barb and her puppies and watch them grow until they're ready for adoption. You'll see a mix of animals and gaming on this channel, as I'm a variety gamer and I stream over on Twitch to raise money for my fosters and donate to rescues. Thanks for watching!